Welcome to video, I'm Brad Pritchard. We're the Sirloins of the Super Mega Baseball 3 franchise mode, and uh, we've clinched a spot in the playoffs. We're looking good. Um, we have one game left in the regular season. If we win it, maybe we're the division champions? Let's look at that. Uh, let's take a look at the standings. Well, the Saltis have two games left, right? So if they win it in both, we have no hope. But let's assume they lose one at least. Let's let's assume we end up in a tie. <clears throat> Does head-to-head -head matter? Or is it all just this run differential? My belief is that it's all just run differential. Which I am currently ahead on. They do have one more game. But I assume I beat this team by 15, which I'm not gonna do because I can't hit. Um, I feel like I'd be looking pretty good. Let's see what that see if I can figure out the head-to-head -head against the uh, Saw Teeth is. Let's see here. We won that one. I actually have no idea how many times we played them either, so that's a thing. Other games against Saw Teeth. There's two more. We lost those two, so we're one and two. Is that it? That's it. So if it's head to head, we're boned. That's it for us. Um. In terms of we played division teams three times out of 32 games. I guess that's fair. Anyway, I guess we should just uh, go play a game and see if we can win. I've been doing some drinking. So I might be very relaxed and good at baseball, or I might be just a flaming pile of feces. Either way, I can beat this terrible pitcher, Jerry Caps. Alright, so nobody except for Kira Nutmeg is depressed, and she is very depressed. Uh, Lubbock Chops needs to get the hell out of here. Better Despot back in. Heel Soup needs to go down in the order. And that looks like that's probably it. Um, other than Bugsy Snugs, none of my people are feeling good or bad. And, and Kira Nutmeg, who feels terrible because she can't catch. Um, yeah, well, let's do this. So this video will be... One final regular season game and the first game of the playoffs, since we are in it. My, I, I'm not going to speculate. I, I can't figure out it. I don't think that, um, I don't think the division champs inherently get the one and two seeds, but maybe they do. I'm not sure. But it's a distinct possibility that the second wild card team, apparently the Moonstars, will have a better record than the Herbisaurs. All right. Good hitting. Thanks, good hitting. Just looking at pitches, and then swinging at the next one and not getting a hit. Now back, the third baseman, Hayaka. Yeah, that seems like it should have been a hit. Great contact, no reward. Uh, this is going fast. Hammer goose. <laughs> Great contact, right at him. God damn. I mean, I was. I'm kind of feeling myself. Oh God, the slow down. The fucking slow down. They need to release a patch. I've read some Steam stuff, and it seems like they think that despite a lot of, not a lot of people, but a significant number of people saying that slow down exists, that, like they don't believe it. <laughs> so I'm skeptical. If they don't, if they don't feel there's a problem, there isn't a problem for them, right? I'm here to tell you, there's a fucking problem. It's not the worst, it doesn't ruin the game or anything, but it's super noticeable and it's super irritating. Yeah. Now, um, also, I had my little screed about Adobe Analytics in the previous episode, and I'm sure you really enjoyed it, even though obviously I haven't published the video, um, but I'm assuming you loved it. That was a very quick one, two, three inning. Um, Let's not talk about Adobe Analytics, but let's talk about Adobe Target. Ooh. What is Adobe Target, you may ask? It's a really slick tool for AEM users, Adobe Experience Manager, which is their uh, CMS, to manage testing. So, A-B testing, multivariable testing, some other really cool stuff. 
and it, it's overall a pretty great product. I actually like using it. It's all pretty intuitive. Um, you can inject different code or different images into the web page, um, showing them to however many users you you've got. You do or do not want. Run, Lloyd. You're not gonna make it. Yow. So that's pretty great. We used it to put one of our chat bots on a website, and it took me like five minutes to set up the experience with 20% of the users receiving the experience, and the other 20, 80%. I know how many cents equal 100%. Um, it's 100. So it's super easy to set up that experience for users of just one locale of a rather complex website. So I was like, oh, that's pretty sweet. I like this. Well, this week, I'll be caught. I've said that before with Hammer. Right, that time I meant it. Um, well, one of the things you can do is have JSON offers, where you have some contents of a JSON that you serve as you see fit, uh, so you can judge them against each other, right? Don't crotch grab like, this is cool. Yeah, that's that's easy. Throw in my JSON. Press save. Oh, you don't like it because it has emoji in it. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we can switch to the Unicode version of the emoji, right? Can't do that. Um, almost had it. And why can't you do it? Hard to say because it failed silently. You hit the save button... And just nothing happens. There's no error like there was when I tried to use emoji. No error whatsoever. Came up a hit. Didn't like that because I was talking about Adobe Target. It just silently fails. Um, you have no idea why. Um, I'm uh, nicely done. I'm an experimental person. I was like, shit, does this thing not like Unicode? It doesn't like Unicode. And we need those emojis, which sounds like a really fucking stupid thing to say. But the bot's full of emoji. Uh, we were using them for kind of a introductory message uh, called a proactive message as part of our system. It's already locked in. Well, fuck him. Wow. Eel soup. Why did I do that to you? All right, contact swing practice. Disagree. Oh, too slow. Flop in? Is it going to? Nice. Um, yeah, so we had to so we had to go a completely different method. Cause the we still need the measurement stuff. So we had to do it another worse method that involves hard coding what the involves hard co coding some JS, which come on. Yeah, that's strict. So that was a real disappointment. That's a product that I've really enjoyed and thought was super easy to use and all made sense. But no, it's got arbitrary restrictions that it doesn't even know about. They didn't do any error messaging for it. They just let it fail. I'm not stealing bases here, okay? And really, that's all I have to say about Adobe Target. Oh my god, why? Yes. <laughs> He's not locked in anymore, is he? That opens the floodgates for some sirloin runs. Wow, they're leaving him in here. He's suffering from body contusion. Man, if I hit him again, wouldn't that have been something special? Runner's heading home on this one. 1-0 one, Sirloins. Let's keep this two-out rally going. Here's the hammer. I was very torn between swinging and not swinging there. Wow, that got inside on me. Doing two. 
slammed, but that guy is fast as hell. K yellow, you're the worst, dude. So a productive inning for the Solins that we scored one run and battered the hell out of their pitcher. Don't crotch grab. And we got the locked in Kaoniomo. She's probably not locked in anymore after that base knocked the left. She's not. God damn. Just on a hair trigger, this mojo. This is their pitcher, the mortally wounded Gary Caps, who can't decide if he wants to swing or really. He does it. And the double play. Thank you for that. I kind of hoisted them by their own petard there, using the ridiculous mechanics that it has for runners returning to a base, which is really not good. It's a complaint. I like the game, but um, I think that's a pretty big botch. Whereas, like, someone hits a line drive or a pop up right to catch like that, it's an automatic double play because players are already so far away from the bases, have no chance to return. I don't watch a lot of baseball. I have not intentionally watched a baseball game in well over 20 years, probably. Um, I've, oh, no. Look at, look at this motherfucker. This guy's a pitching genius. I'm fucked. That was a late. Jeez, look at that thing. That was his goddamn slider. And I pop that one up. Get to the backstop. All right, one more chance. Hulk out. And uh, she just blasted that one to say, "Oh, it's by. Let's run." This is like a triple. It's kind of slow. We're going anyway. Triples are a rare beast, so you gotta go for them whenever you can get them. Runner on third. No outs. Pitcher still locked in and juice. This is an RBI man. Nice pitch. His accuracy is bad, and I did decide in the previous games that that does matter. It's going to be right over the middle. So whenever they need at Oh, wait, maybe not. All right. So Lay Jones just takes the walk. Now the second base. Here's the big L, Lloyd Cook. And he spanks that to the shortstop. Unfortunately, it is a double play. He gets the run. His mojo should not go down. He drove in a run. Here's the Ilsu. Went after the high one and got it. That's sirloin baseball, swinging at bad pitches and occasionally getting lucky. Of course, he's still locked in. There's no stopping Woody Ano. It's not going to get through. Ooh, took the high bounce, which I think for a fielder would be very difficult to handle, but it is a video game, and it's not really simulating that. So, all right, one more run for the sirloins. Maybe jump was the more appropriate action there. Lead off double. Can't say I'm in love with that. Her mojo continues to yo-yo. Mojo yo-yo? Is that a character on the Powerpuff Girls? Damn it, I shouldn't have done that and I knew it, but I thought I could get him and I couldn't. Now we got runners on first and third, no out. We gotta win this to have any chance of winning the division, so uh, let's bear down some outs. Uh, that's one out, but that's... Wait, that is not one out. Or is it? It is. However... Oh, wait. I should have jumped. If we run Donner, we're losing. So, my judgment was pretty far off on that one. I don't think K.O. Neoma is feeling too great about herself at the moment. Tense. That looked like just a long pop fly to me. How wrong I was. Fair enough. Oh boy. One and two. Long ball is there. Finally got the first out of the inning. This guy is batting perfectly for the game. So anyway, if you want me to talk about any more tech products that I've used in my work, 
or personal life, just let me know. I've got opinions. So, definitely... Oh, jeez. Okay, we'll get there. Three down, but we've lost the lead. What a bummer that is. We're just going to power swing with her. Who cares? Her pitcher's exhausted. That's the good news. And she blasted that thing. Nice job, KO. I know it's not a hit, but... Still really good. Now batting, the first baseman. Hopefully their next reliever is not quite such a monster. Do this one at that. Boom. Run it out. Run it out. Yeah. Oh, I thought she had it. Now batting the third baseman, Madoka Hayata. He's uh deteriorating pretty quickly. I should just not swing very much. I'm not going to press. Oh, I'm going to hold down the X button because I think it makes them throw balls. <laughs> now, that's a strange belief, and I don't think it's supported by facts, but it's what I believe. Now batting the right fielder, Hammer Look at his numbers are now trash. I'm not stealing bases, dude. The two outs were already geez. I wonder if kickoff attempts would affect this game or not. Alright, only after this one. Not stealing, bucko. It looks like they maybe do. Oh no, what have I done and why? That's probably my last chance to get a hit off him. Surely they'll take him out soon. Yeah, so analytics has been something that I've had to deal with on and off throughout my career. Um, with websites, it's all fine. Yeah, they're pinch hitting for him. Um, Google Analytics, Adobe Analytics, they both work. They're fine. I do analytics even. Also fine. No big deal. But when you're using analytics for non-website purposes, I think that's where, which is pretty common these days, right? You've got mobile apps and Facebook thingamahoos, chat apps, any programs. That's when you can really tell what separates analytics firms, how flexible they are and how easy they, to, they are. And that's where Adobe fell on their face. Can be done, anything can be done. It's an extremely flexible tool. Nothing can be done easily, though. Everything's hard. Nice jump. And their whole model is a bit weird. Even for website stuff. Especially now that they're deprecating properties. And that should be the inning is better desperate rolls on out to her left makes the catch. We need runs. New pitcher. Uh, he throws fairly fast. That's that was the she. She throws fairly fast. But other stats are whatever. That's not gonna do. If I lose this game, I'm gonna be kicking myself. It is already the sixth. It's another extremely low accuracy pitcher, though, so I should attempt to take advantage of that. I'm just going to go for a walk. Okay, it didn't take long either. Four pitches. Lloyd Cook. He's tense again. Is that going to fall in? Yes, it will. Base hit for Lloyd Cook. Runners on first second. I always feel better about a hit than a walk. Walks are fine. They get you on base, but I'd rather just have a single. Here's Eel Soup. Number 29. He's getting tired. Why did I swing at that? But it's going to work. Nice. Uh, we're not going to send the runner. A little too close for comfort. I got to throw, too. All right. Contact swing practice. Here comes the double play. That's a strike. 
That, is, on the other hand, is not. I've done it. A contact swing, multiple base hit. I think three runners are coming in easily. We're not going for the triple in this case. And the Sirloins, they've regained the lead. Keo Neomo goes for power. She hasn't gotten a hit this year. We don't play that many team teams in the National League-ish thing in this game. So, pitchers don't get that many at-bats. I have no idea how many she's had. I don't think it's that many. Could have been none before this game. Who knows? Oh, that's right down the pipe. So is that. Jeez. This pitcher. She's uh, exhausted. She has no accuracy, but she's just piping those against Keo Neomo. All right, last chance is Cat Stanza. They're leaving in the pitcher. I love that. Not stealing bases. Pitch out, fine. Pitch out, fine. Are you going to intentionally walk me? That's a valid choice. Yep, all right. We'll be two on for Madoka Hayata. She's had a rough go of it of late, but I think she's ready to step up. Oh, okay, new pitcher. This pitcher's terrible. I'm fine with this. It's a crazy ass pitch. Not stealing. Nothing's changed. <laughs> okay, I swung at it. Um, hopefully, it's not a mistake. It looks like it is a mistake. God damn. It's f so, when they throw fork balls, it's good. When I throw fork balls, it's very bad. Four runs on the board. Or is it three? Three runs on the board? Yeah. Three runs on the board. And look at the scoreboard. Oh, shit balls. I mean, she's injured for the playoffs. Wow, she's very hurt. Powers is a little tired from last game. So it's time for the Duke. Breaking pitches for days. Right, son. What are you going to do with this nonsense? Otoka. Ayata. Oh. Got stuck on the steps. Oh, that's a hit. I love it. At least I got that runner out at first after they murdered my pitcher. I guess turnabout is fair game, as they say. Here's The Rock. Not The Rock we all know and love. It's Lloyd Cook lookalike, The Rock Sanchez. Right, sliders, baby. It's been one more. See how he likes this. Oh. Close right. I have to sneeze. Oh no, please don't not sneeze. That's Jesus corrupted. It's on now, okay. That's a great disappointment. A high heat. Whoa. All right. Too high heat. Wing. Uh, shit. I suddenly can't throw a strike. All right, threw a strike there. And got him. Nice job, Duke. Here's Norton Pickle. He's a grimly aggressive looking fucker. I can say with confidence that I don't like him. I have a feeling he's like an internet bully, a sexual predator. That's just based on his face. Oh, good job. No reason to throw there. We got two outs, though. That was a ball, also? feel some mild disagreement with that. Uh, that might be enough. Yep. Damn. Anytime they hit it that slow, you're in a lot of trouble. Slowest fastball in the game. And that's a donger. We're losing again. Jumped three times, didn't work. Are we gonna lose this game to these scrubs? If only they hadn't murdered Madoka. We're gonna get Meg Megals in this game sooner rather than later. We're surely we can get out of this thing. This is Mr. Single. Ow. 
accuracy has gone to crap, but I I think I've said it before. I don't worry about accuracy with my pitchers. I can figure it out. I can make pitches work even with that. Might be a little overconfident of me. I don't know. Or care. We had that one. Okay. All right, Damien Rush will catch that one. So it's a back and forth affair. Three run innings for both sides. Here's the hammer, and he's angry. Why did I swing that outside pitch? One never knows. Oh my god, I'm swinging at everything again. Ooh, I thought that was over. It took so long to get there that it, uh, I got a very late swing. That's great. Base it for better despot. There's Filet. He got two walks on the game. It's a team record. Smacks it into left. Runners on first and second. Doesn't time for Lloyd Cook. Uh oh. God damn it! Not the double play ball. You hate to see it. I should stop saying that. It's kind of like a meme expression. I'm not a meme person. Not like goddamn Lalo. How much as I love him. Overuse of meme. Disgusting. <gasps> I almost hit somebody. That would have been sweet. Except the Duke doesn't throw pitches fast enough to really hurt anybody with his mean balls, so <laughs> that's not what I'm looking for. Castanza hasn't got a chance to make a tackle this game. She's going to get this one for sure. Right between the numbers. Nicely done. Kellen Yellow with his yellow glasses seems appropriate. Ayata roams over and makes the throw. Nicely done. Okay, so maybe actually matters a little bit. I couldn't bring that one back under control. That one was fine. Ooh. All right. Hit hard, but hit right at hammer. Three up, three down. All right, here's Eel Soup. She's Miss Singles. Miss Single, excuse me. It's went to single, but we're not far. And maybe shouldn't have swung at that. That was close. That was not. Okay. Full count. He's walk prone. <laughs> and it shows. Eel Soup takes her base. And here's a experiment in contact swing. Hopefully I just don't swing at any pitches, though. Um... He's fast, not fast enough. God damn, this, these terrible pitchers are beating the hell out of me. The Duke! Oh, I got really excited and swung at a pitch I shouldn't have. I feel like I should have done better with that. I mean, I know he can't hit, but... Damn! That double play really took the wind out of my sails. Uh, the Duke's getting tired. Let's get him out of here. I should have pinch hit for him. I'm an idiot. It's Maggie Magles. He is not good at pitching. But she is a warm body. This could be a dispiriting loss in the last game of the regular season. After losing K.O. Neomo to injury, I'm a little scared. This Tara Leonair. Is that her name? Leonair? Alright, I guess it's the name. She's uh, bruised our pitchers so far. She's she's a good hitter. 
great hitter. I feel like we should be able to do a little bit better, but things happen. We're talking softball. I wish I could still sing the song from The Simpsons, but I don't think I can remember enough of the words. I know that somebody's got a grotesquely swollen jaw. Somebody is running with the law. I got some of it, but not not anywhere close to all of it. Damn, looking good, Maggie Maggles. This is it. This is the ninth inning already. Damn, this game went fast. We need runs. New catcher. Okay, not a new pitcher. We're at the top of the order. Did you just send that one out of here? I believe she did. It's going to be close, though. All right. 6-6 six, six tie. Cat Stanza with the donger. Got an achievement with that one, too. That's our sixth of the season. Nicely done, Cat Stanza. Now we need to get another two or three runs. We can put in Franzilla to get the close. Get into that. Reno. Walk pro, we're just going to sit here and take four straight pitches if necessary. You know, we only take one. Here's the hammer. He's 0 for 4, but he's ready. I'm not stealing bases. It's not my thing. He is very fast. Alright, that's a strike. Just testing to see if he can throw a strike. I don't believe in him. Green one? He's walk prone. We're just going to take three pitches. That one was nice. Two pitches, rather, excuse me. Just kidding. I decided to pop out instead. That was a ball, also. Better despot. Oh, a new pitcher is really good. Shit. Should have taken better advantage of that opportunity. Throwing some weird pitches. Swung at that one. Probably didn't need to. That's going to go foul, unfortunately. Two and two. Oh, boy. If I can't get another run, I can't put in Franzilla because he doesn't have much stamina. Here's Filet. Oof. Oh, no. Swung too late. Takes that pitch. Takes that pitch. Two and two. Okay, ropes that one into left. It's a base hit. Gives us a chance. I am almost out of booze. That sucks. Here's Lloyd Cook. He's tense. God, he's actually in terrible shape here. Please walk him. Probably not going to walk him. And that's a fly out. No, it's going to drop. Run, people, run. All right, RBI single for Lloyd Cook. Loops it in. And here's Miss Single. Eel Soup. Another run or two wouldn't hurt. Not stealing bases. I don't even care about that. Yeah, I wanted to swing at that pretty bad. Oh, God, he's already exhausted. This is fantastic. Oh, and I blew it. Oh, fuck. That's Mojo down for Eel Soup? All right, let's get Franzilla in here. Get the closer. We haven't seen him for a while. It's all fastballs from here, motherfucker. Whoa, gee. That's one out. <sighs> I've got some burping issues. Yeah, give him the heat, Franzilla. He was named for the band Franz Ferdinand, not for Franz Ferdinand the Archduke. All right, we're going to give him the not fastball, see how he feels about that. Not good. Give him one more, because I don't think he's expecting it. He knows Franzilla is a power pitcher. Now he is. Oh, fake sneeze, fake sneeze. Strike three. What a closeout by Franzilla. And the Sirloins win their final game of the season. Now all they can do is sit and watch as the Sawtees play two games, of which we hope they both lose, because... If head-to-head's a consideration, as we discovered earlier in the video, that does not go well for us.
Players game, Terra Leonaire, Damien Rush, and Kat Stanza. Nice job, guys. You walked loud. And he walks drawn. I don't think I've ever gotten that one before, but their pictures were insanely inaccurate. All right. So all that's left for us now is we are in a deadlock for the league in the division, but they've got two games to play. Let's simulate them. Actually, no. Let's we'll simulate some games if, and we are going to. Oh, we could watch this one. Let's just watch it. I'll I'll talk to you about it. Um, I'll probably not talk about any more tech products. But let's just watch it. Let's watch this game. Saw Teeth, Moonstars. So if you take a look at the season standings, I think that the Moonstars are safe. Well, they're not safe. The Moonstars are not safe for the wild card slot. The Moon, the Sandcats could easily catch them. So a loss here would be brutal for them. This is definitely a game to watch. Take a look at the wild card standings. There you can see us. We're comfortable. We have the best record in the league. Um, Florida. We have a worse winning percentage than the Saw Teeth. But we're right there. Freebooters, worst team in the league. All right. Let's just watch this one. Let's see how it goes. Actually, before we do that, let's take a look at the summary. Uh, okay, that's not a price-saving move. But those guys are both pretty bad, so I don't care about that. That looks like a price-saving move. Wow, that guy's 8.8 .8 million for that? High accuracy rating pitcher is not my thing. There's a big salary saving boost. She's got bad jumps, wouldn't hurt me because I don't really care about stealing bases. She would be a wonderful addition to my team, but that would mean replacing Damien Rush. He doesn't get paid that much, so I can't really afford her, I think. Let's take a quick look, though. Damien Rush gets paid a mere 6.9 million. I can't afford, afford another 1.1 million of salary. Actually, that's, more, that's 1.7 of salary, or one, yeah, 1.7. I can't really cut anybody else, I don't think. Let's take a quick look at who's available. I want to see outfielders, because I could get rid of Hammer Long Ballo. He's outlived, he's getting old, he's going to retire. This guy would be an amazing replacement. He's only 22. Yeah. Do I replace Hammerlong Ballo just before the playoffs? It would be pretty cruel, but this is the exact kind of player I'm looking for. This guy could be a centerpiece of our team for many years. So that was, what's the name of this person? Razzy Dazzler. She's a, the center fielder. Is she available in here? If she's, she is, she's right there. Oh, but she's asking for 15.1 million now, so that's, okay. This is all purely speculative at this point, then. You know, I could still... I could still make that, wow. Hack Liner's asking for 20.9 million? You gotta be fucking shitting me. Very old is, well, he's like 32. That's not very old by the standards of this game. Clay Jones is not getting paid 13.1 million. God, this player's amazing. Could I find a way to add him to the team? You know Munshata gets released every season. I don't think I can because I don't think that Flay Jones gets paid well. He only gets paid 5.8 million. He's a great value. All right, that's not gonna happen. We're not making any changes. Let's just watch this game together and enjoy our time. Drink the rest of my Jameson. We'll advance to the playoffs for the next video. I like this song. So we got a couple of slightly injured players for the Moonstars, which is not great. A couple of kind of bum players for the Saw Teeth. Play ball. Okay, so they're trotting out a pretty bad pitcher here. See what the Moonstars can do against her. Bunting! You dumb fucker! It was that. Here's Nance Tools. So her her only well fitness will compensate for her. Will be balanced out by rather her mojo, and she strikes out. Wow, that was embarrassing. 
Here's Boo Lewis. He's not even good at baseball. Takes the strike down the middle. Doesn't go at the curveball high. I think that was a curveball. Wow, that was generous. And Moonstar is looking pretty bad on offense here in the first. We'll see what kind of pitcher they're trotting out. Pretty bad as well. It's Jane Byrne. She's got no accuracy, but uh, her other stats are normal-ish. Ooh, this stadium has lots of signs. 3-1 count. Bolto Ocult. Jesus Christ. This is not a good start for Jane Burns. They're all in Spanish, which I'm completely fluent in. Oh, they've got Servicios de VPN. Um, I'm not sure how you say letters in Spanish, though. Ooh, that looks like a really caught. Long fly ball. Just at the edge of the warning track. Dum Dum sitting on my leg. My cats are growing increasingly jealous of each other. It's getting kind of creepy in here. I don't really like it. Like, each of them doesn't like it when I pet the other one. They get, like, all upset. It's... And, like, Dum Dum will stare at me from across the room with accusatory eyes. Stolen base will not succeed. Nice job there. And catch made there by Vinicio. And 0-0. Zero, zero. Heading into the second. Here's Herbert Hackman. He's a hitter. Don't talk to me about Herbert Hackman. In goddamn every movie. That's a reference to, uh, what's his name? Nice hit, Herbert. That's going to the wall. Robin Hitchcock. Oh, doesn't get the double, though. Has to st stay at first because he's not fast. I, once, I went to a... I went to a Robin Hitchcock concert at Top Cats in Cincinnati in Inside. 2004, 2001. I don't know which year it was, but sometime around then. Inside. It's a very, very small venue, like maybe fit 60 Inside. people. I talked to him at the bar, and he did not enjoy talking to me. I think he was peeved at the size of the of the venue, and he did not want to talk to me. And it was a it was a very humbling experience. It's like. Jeez, Robin Hitchcock, I thought you'd be cool based on your... Drops it? That's a critical error. Hello, phone. Oh, it's Chris, but I'm not connected to... to... I'm connected to VPN on my computer, but it doesn't load Twitter. And I don't know if I can connect to VPN on my phone, but I'm going to try. Because I'd like to talk to Chris, because he's amazing. He doesn't watch my videos, so he'll never know that he's amazing. So I'm not going to tell him. Three and one count. Hey, kitty cat. High in the zone, gets the call. Full count. And that might slop in. Yep. <clears throat> Runner heading home, and they're not even going for him. All right, 1-0 Moonstars. Yeah, Robin Hitchcock. I guess we're not friends. Bummer. He released one album I really liked back in my college days. Let me see if I can find it on my phone. Ooh, another hit. Will a runner come home? They're sending him. Oh, yeah, easily. They should send another. And they are. They get them both. 3-0 Moonstars. Let's see here. Robin Hitchcock with a Y. <laughs> That's going to be Robin the pop star, but whatever. Robin Hitchcock. Let's see here. Here's Pepe Vinicio. Not much of a hitter, but this is very slow loading. Are my other music player. Oh, that's no good. Runner advances to third, I guess? I wasn't paying enough attention there. The first baseman, number 42. No, high. Oh, man, my wife and my dead wife, that was the jam. That's not the album I was thinking of. But anyway, that's a great song. My wife and my dead wife. Those are the only words I remember from the song. That's going to be the end of the inning, but three Moonstars runs. 
And I think I, I was on a mission to listen to every song on my phone on random, and I just ruined it. There are 15,000 of them, I was about 200 in, so I wasn't that close to achieving my goal. Wild pitching by Jane Burns. There's a good looking pitch. I don't think I can connect to VPN on my phone. I'll talk to him tomorrow, I guess. Ooh, base hit to right. Nice looking swing there. That's one on and no outs. What band was Robin Hitchcock in before he became a solo artist? They were pretty prominent in indie circles. They had some pretty banging songs as well. Hmm. Can't believe I can't remember that. Not Echo and the Bunny Man. That's not. That's not it. We also had some pretty banging songs. They did not involve Robin Hitchcock. And that's a meat grounder. Double play is happening. Here's Kathy Cul-de-Sac at the plate. That one was right down the pipe and she fouled it off. Cat tail. And there's a gentle grounder to second. Pepe Vinicio handles it. Handles it? Handles it. Oh, excuse me. So let's see if the Moonstars can make any more hay. Here's Nance Tools. Struck out in her first at bat. Ooh. Takes the strike. And knocks a base it up the middle. Nice job, Nance. Obviously, we're cheering for the Moonstars here so we can maybe get a divisional title. Their starting pitcher here, Air Lovestone, is getting a little bit tired early. Yeah, that was a good looking pitch. He has a very nice ponytail. Goes for the pickoff, and that's Mojo down. That's not good for her. Her stats with Mojo down are terrible, and that's a base hit into right. Here's Herbert Hackman. He got a single in his first at bat. He got nine dongers on this season. That's more than anybody on my team. Fouls off that fastball down the pipe. Takes a swipe at that. Was that a fork ball? Yeah, I think it was. All right, he's staying alive there. Ooh, holds off on that outside curve. This is a tense at bat here. Pressure is still super low for some reason. So that'll be one out, but he advances around to second, third. Not a bad situation here for the Moonstars. Moonstars' jerseys are pretty shit, honestly. Not impressed. Let's see what the Gustav, son of Gustav, can do. Sweden's greatest baseball export. He jacked that one. I think it's gone. I think that's a three run donger. It is. And the Moonstars have taken command. You'll, you gotta like that. Looks like the Sirloin's chances of uh, being the division crown have increased. And here's Steve-O Reeves. I love his name. He has no power, though, so that makes me not respect him. I would never accept him on the Sirloin's. He taps one to the first baseman for an easy out. Steve-O, you suck, bud. Here's Wendy Wheels, the bane of my team. Terrible against everyone else. As you can see, that is just... An embarrassment. But three more runs for the Moonstars heading into the bottom of the third. A lot of early offense from the Moonstars. Announcer's <laughs> super excited about him being number 43. Does that number have some sort of significance to him? I don't know. I'm trying to read that sign. I believe it's supplemento dis. Way something. Yeah, we'll, we'll go back to it. Part of it's chopped off by being on the edge of the screen, but I feel like we can puzzle it out. Guy's got kind of the Rod Carew haircut, and he equally ooh, one for the double play, and they got it. That was sweet. Pex flex. Sky is that one. 
If they're gone, it is not. It's just a pop fly. And the saw teeth finish out the inning. No runs, just one hit. Let's see if the Moon Stars can add to the advantage here in the fourth. What do you want, phone? It's probably, oh, it's, it's my beautiful girlfriend. Saying goodnight, so I will say goodnight to her. I should, I should be going to bed, but I'm going to watch the end of this game. Yeah, it's going to be caught. I'm going to tell her I love her because I do love my girlfriend. I mean, if anybody's watched this far in the video... Which is fairly unlikely based on the based up the middle based on the metrics I'm seeing. Um, get some inside info is that me and Twenty will probably get married next year, which is a bit scary, but it's also okay. Whatever. Um, it's not the idea of getting married that's scary. It's the idea of living with another person. I've been living alone for 15 years, pretty much, maybe 12 years, something more like that. That's a donger, isn't it? Yep. And the moon stars keep putting on the pressure. I'm not afraid of getting married. I'm not afraid of having one person in my life that I have to care for and be nice to all the time. This is a little hard, but it's not impossible, and I believe I can do it. But living with another person is terrifying. I'm so used to just do whatever I want. I, like, I'm sitting here in my living room. Before I was playing Super Mega Baseball, now I'm watching two AI teams play Super Mega Baseball. I got two TVs set up here. I got two computers sitting next to each other. One's got a cat on, one's got a TV sitting on top of it. Um, she might uh, be willing to do that, but I can't just sit here and watch something on, like watch a TV show on one screen and play a video game on another when you live with someone. That's kind of, you know taking over a pretty significant amount of living space. It's not acceptable, I don't think. So we'll see how that goes. That part's scary. I'm also not the neatest person in the world. I can, I can overcome that to some extent, I think, though. And I'm just very used to having my own space. And my patterns of living are really random. So I'm not sure that another person would really enjoy that. Like, going to bed at 11 o'clock one night, going to bed at 3 a.m. the next night. Nobody likes living with that. Especially if you share a bed. I mean, I think that would be probably pretty acceptable for, like, a roommate-type situation. All right, two outs in this inning. Uh, they did get a... The saw teeth to get a base hit there. Sorry, I'm very burpy tonight. Ooh, Slash Trips is feeling. He's both on fire and juice. That's, his stats are almost entirely maxed out. He only gets a base hit, though. That's not at all worst-case scenario for the Moon Stars here. His mojo went up on the already on fire? I'm confused. There's nothing above on fire, right? But he never went back to reading the Supplemento de F Fuerza. Is it Fuerza? Maxima. I don't know what Fuerza means, though. It's got, like, a marijuana leaf on it. Ooh, just walks Quaker oatmeal. Alright, here's cul-de-sac's chance. Just ground out. I don't want to see the salty game runs. Why not right at her knees there? Tough call. 3-0 and count. And with her accuracy, there's no way she gets her out. There's a one strike. She's gonna, yep, walk to run home. Bases were loaded, right? Yep. Here's Ryder Green. He stinks. He's also a tiny little boy, but this pitcher can't throw a strike. There's one though. Ooh, that was a. I thought was, if anything it was. Wow. If anything it was high, I don't think that was inside. I think the umpire's been bought off once again. And there's another walk. Walks in two runs. This is a historically bad performance by Jane Burns. Here's the rattled Julian Travis. 
But if you don't throw a strike, it's not going to be an issue. I kind of want to see her walk in a few more runs just for entertainment value. But there's two strikes. One and two. He's a tough out. He's going to foul off. Wow. Nice pitch. I probably would have swung. All right. That one is right down the middle. Can the first baseman get over there? It looks like the answer is yes. Threat's over, but two runs walked in. That's gross. Wouldn't be an issue for the sirloins. We're kind of famous for our few walks allowed star points. Oh, she crotch grabbed. Rude. Hammer. It's a nice looking pitch there. Ooh, that was touchy. She crotch grabbed again. Twice in three pitches. Ooh, that one was right down the pipe. Two and two. Base hit to right. Come on, Moonstars. Put on a few more runs. Make sure the saw teeth can't catch up. Here's a. Uh, Sweden's greatest baseball export. And he gets the bases up the middle. Nicely done. Two on, no outs. Do you guys like it when I tell a little story about the players that's totally made up? Like Gustav Gustafsson being a Swedish guy? As far as I know, fewer than 10 Swedish people have ever played baseball. How? That was a tough call. 3-0. Just take some pitches, buddy. Keep doing it. All right. Well, maybe my advice sh is shit. That's a possibility. Oh, yeah. She threw three straight strikes, and that's going to be a pop out. out. Two on, one out. Now batting the center fielder. With now pitching. New pitcher, much better pitcher. It's Brick Towers. He's got beautiful flaming red hair like Jim Ostrowski. You guys know Jim Ostrowski is pretty famous for being a person. Here's Lackey Luster with the all shot crotch grab combination. I hate him. I absolutely despise him. Takes a couple balls. There's a strike. He fouls it off. And that should end the inning. So this, the Moonstars can add to their lead there, despite having hits in their first two at bats. Let's see if the the Moonstar pitcher can calm down here. Jane Burns is getting tired. And her accuracy was zero before that started, so this is an issue. He scratches her butt, winds up, and throws it right down the pipe. That was a nice curve. I think it was a spider. Ground out to shortstop. Ants tools makes catch, makes the throw. Baropkin does not drop that kin. Here's double penetration Turner. You know what he likes. I don't like a strike to me. Two and one. Ooh, two and two. And that might drop. No, no. It's handled by Nance Tools. But here's here's John Romero. John Ranero, excuse me. He's gonna make this pitcher his bitch. He does not do that. I've already made that joke once. It was like 12 episodes ago at least. It doesn't sound right though when there's a woman pitching. So I apologize for that. Here's Pepe Vinicio. He's tense. Sucks. So between those two things, I don't predict a lot of success for him. But taking a couple balls, that's alright. And he fouls off that one. Two and one. Two and two. And he pops out meekly to the catcher. Come on, Moonstars. Get serious again. They're struggling with his better pitcher. Here's Chris Dropkin. His bat looks taller than him. Which I guess is a strategy. Is that like a normal thing in this game? He did line out. Here's Nance Tools. Having a good game despite being a little bit injured. Beautiful slider in there. Her ball. Can't quite catch the inside of the plate. That one goes a bit high as well. Throws the fastball inside. Three and one. Fastball right down the pipe. Full count. Ooh. She probably wishes she had that one back because I think that was a ball. I know that feeling because I swing at a lot of balls. It's bottom of the sixth. Moonstar is up eight to two over the Salty. 
Here's Lester Bronco. Somehow he's a B plus despite very mediocre batting stats. He gets a base hit up the middle, so I guess I shouldn't have insulted him based on his stats. I'm getting sleepy. But here's Slash Trips. Oh, Jack! That's right, there is something above on fire. You just rarely see it. This is the first time I've seen it in this iteration of Super Mega Baseball. I believe I saw it in the other ones when I used to get hits. I get my guys jacked all the time. But now, never. 3 no count. I think that's a fine walk, honestly. You don't really want that guy hitting the ball. Here's Perry Quaker. Jane Burns getting a little tired. We're going to have to take her out sooner rather than later. Nice rising fastball. Ooh, beautiful slider. Oh, gets the strikeout. Now let's get a double play and finish this inning. Here's Kathy Cul-de-Sac. I love her name. I wish that cul-de-sac were actually a family name that people had. Ooh, she battered that one, but this is the deepest part of the stadium, so it will be an out. Runner will... Ad Wait, what just happened there? The runner's already on first and third, and I just didn't know it. That seems likely. Anyway, two outs for Ryder Green. New pitcher, and this uh, reliever's pretty good. He's a little bit tired already, though, so that's not a great sign for the Moonstars. It suggests that their uh, bullpen... Depth is not particularly good right now. Mm, that was pretty stringent, wasn't it? Ooh, come on! That curve looked good to me. Three and one. And that's going to be caught. That'll end the inning. Well, that's pretty much it for Jameson. I have no more alcohol in the house. This game can't end soon enough. Soon, soon enough. Here's Boo Lewis. We are in the seventh inning, top of the inning. We've got three innings left, and I got no more alcohol. Hit that hard, but not hard enough. Warning track power from Boo. How did I know that? I really intuited that nicely. Don't talk to me about Mr. Single Herbert Hackman. It's two for three with two singles. Get another one, buddy. Inside on the fastball, and he pops out. Fans are going nuts for that pop-out. They love it. My eyes are not sharp enough to read those outfield signs, but I wish I could. Here's uh, Sweden's greatest baseball export. Takes a swing ill-advisedly. A pretty awkward adverb. That curveball is from outer space. Ooh, close one there. Well hit, but it's going to be caught. That'll be the end of the inning. Well, maybe I'm wrong. No, I'm not wrong. I wish I were wrong. That little curve in the fence there pretty much boned Gustav. We're heading to the bottom of the seventh. Uh, it's the bottom of the saw teeth order. Julian Travis has never been sadder. Is there anything lower? Ooh, Herbert Hackman's out. They want to get a little more fielding in. Interesting. Is there anything below rattled? Like despondent? Dejected? Pop out there for the rattled man. Mojo down now. And here's Pex flexed. He's not much of a hitter for a guy with that name, I gotta say. Fouls the first pitch off. Takes the ball high. Gets crotch grabbed by this inconsiderate motherfucker. And he flops a single into right. Nicely job nicely done job there by Pex flexed. So runner on first, one out. And Double penetration Turner is a constant double play threat as well. So it's got, it's got layers of meaning. So this is not a story. Oh, that's a double play. Um, <laughs> he did it. He got the double play. When I see DP as a occasional pornography viewer, I, I usually think double penetration, right? So there's a restaurant on a street called Dongping Lu here in Shanghai. So, um... Dongping, if you want to abbreviate two letters, is DP. Nice. Base it to lead off the inning for the Moonstars. So, I mean, I, I would go into my food delivery app. And like, do I want to order from this double penetration restaurant? I was like, mm, not really. It's kind of unappealing. Making sense. Anyway, that's the story. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed it. They need to take this pitcher out. He's exhausted. Why are they doing this? Oh, well, he got an out. 
I mean, I'm cheering for the Moonstar, so I hope they leave him in, but... Here's Lackey Luster. He sucks in the best of times. He's tense now. Here's a new pitcher. It's Doc Simple Man. And, ooh, base it to the center. Jose, if you ever watch this video, um, please tell me what Suplemento Fuerza... Yeah, Suplemento Fuerza... De Fuerza, excuse me. Suplementos de Fuerza... Fuerza. Ooh, right by that diving player. Maxima. What, what the fuck is that? Will it help me? Should I buy some? Let me know. Alright, Chris. Time to get another donger here, buddy. Wow, that looked like a strike. That one definitely was, but Chris Dropkins playing it slow until he slaps that piece of shit into the in the left. Runner will not tag, so we got two outs. Runners on the corners, and here's Nance Tools. And she taps it out to first, so no runs there for the Moonstar. Well, one run, excuse me. Right into the bottom of the eighth. Let's see what's going on with the Moonstar pitching. Here's uh, John Romero. Ugh. Crotch grab and ball shot. Burt Bergerer is getting a little tired, but he can probably get through this inning as long as they don't get like five hits. Three hits. One and two. Fouls off. Oh, didn't quite catch it. Hit him in the face. And that's right to the second baseman. Pepe Vinicio handles it, passes it to Dropkin. Pitcher Mojo goes up. That helps a lot. Here's Lester Bronco. That was a close one. Strike down the middle. Fouls that one off. One and two. And it goes right to the third baseman. Handled nicely by Dropkin. Two outs. Here's Mr. Single, slash trips. He's jacked and juiced. First time I've seen it in this game. And he just laces a... Oh, that's going to be a double, probably. He's decently fast. He's no longer Mr. Single. He's Mr. Hits. So one on, two outs for the terrible Perry Quaker. He's tense. They need to take out this pitcher, but they refuse to do it. Seems to be a consistent problem with the AI in this game. What's it inside? And that should end the inning. Nicely done. What are you doing, bud? All right, still gets the out. All right, I'm down to my last cigarette, too, which I should save for the morning, but I'm not going to. So I got one, well, yeah, so I got one full inning left since the Moonstars are on the road. Buy more cigarettes tomorrow. Not buy more cigarettes ever, but here we are. 2-0. 3-0. Doc Simpleman finally hurls one in. I would just sit there and take pitches where I had this guy, but there's another strike. He's a K-man. That was really close. Simpleman sad. Nice fastball there. Looks like it was the two-finger fastball. And uh, will the right fielder get there? No, he will not. If he dove, maybe? Probably not, but he should at least give it a try. That's the kind of lack of effort I hate to see out of the sirloins. I wouldn't accept that. We dive on every pitch. And there's a... That guy's really fast. So a base hit up the middle. Runner will advance the third. Moonstar's... Oh, I wasn't even paying attention when he didn't catch that, but there was the guy backing him up. Here's Gustav Gustafsson. He's got three RBI in the game. Great opportunity to add to it with no outs. Doc Simpleman is basically dead, and they should take him out, but they refuse. They're bullpens. Bullpen? Bullpens, clearly depleted. Ooh, that was a lucky call. It was a little outside to me. Two and two. Oh, strikes him out. Wow, this tired motherfucker did it. Here's Steve O'Reeves. Unfortunately, he sucks. Oh, new pitcher. This guy's. He's a little tired, so they've been using their bullpen quite a lot recently, apparently. He's a sidearm. I'm glad I don't have to deal with that myself. That's an 0 and 2 count. 
Steve-O. And Steve-O just stares at all three pitches and strikes out. You're the worst, Steve-O. I will never sign you to my team. Here's Wendy Wheels. Good against me. Terrible against everybody else. Ooh, tough call there. Strike right down the middle on the slider. Fastball down the middle. Goes a little bit inside with that slider. That's hit pretty hard, but I think it's going to be caught. And I'm right. The Moonstars can't add to the lead, but we're heading to the bottom line with a comfortable seven-run cushion. Here's Kathy Cul-de-Sac. Ooh, new pitcher who's terrible. Accuracy and nothing else for, uh, who is this guy? Deft Wedums. I don't like that name very much. And there's a, probably a double, maybe a triple. That's exactly where you don't want to hit the wall, but it looks like the batter's not too fast. The runner on second with no outs. Here's a uh, Ryder Green. Dude's trash. Not really. He's okay. Um, if you weren't tense, he'd be pretty good. The Deft Wedums is already tense, but that's a meat ground out. So we got a runner in on third with one out. Not too big of a deal. Julian Travis is just so sad. Takes a strike on the inside corner. Hmm. Tough call there. Jeez. Those were both nipping at the edges. And there's another ground out. Run will come in. But for the lead. Oh, Mojo down despite the ground out. Here's Pex Flex. And he flies out to end the game. So the Moonstars have done it. It is Stadio Viejo. That's good news for the Sirloins. And I think what that means is I need to watch their next game as well. Which means I need to end this video before they play again. Gustav Gustav's in the player of the game with slash trips, three for three, double, and a run. Really not that much, honestly, but whatever. He's a second star. We're not going to simulate all these games, but I do want to see that last salty game. They're playing the Crocodons. I think we'll just leave that for the next video, right? Why does Guy Gold have no logo next? That's weird. Oh, he must be a free agent now. Is Guy Gold a person that could be gotten? Yep. This guy's... I mean, he costs a ton, obviously, and I'm more of a contact hitter than a power hitter, so I don't like one, but... He's asked for 12.7 million. One of the leaks. Shit. Sorry about that. One of the league leaders is a free agent. Man, this league is tough in terms of signings. Anyway, I think we'll leave it there for tonight. I'm going to curl up in bed with my cats. One of them's on the pillow right now. Oh, he's walking over here. Hey, dum-dum. You want to be in the end of this video? Yeah, come here, buddy. Oh, he responds to that like a dog. There's his tail. Can't really see his head because of the current camera positioning. I should probably zoom that back out so there would be more cats in videos. Because people love cats like I do. Oh, I love you, bud. Anyway. That's it for tonight. Uh, next video, the Sirloins will be heading to the playoffs. We still don't know if they're going to be the winners of the division or not, because that's completely unclear. We're sitting there at 20 and 12. They're sitting there at 19 and 12. They're playing the Crocodons, who are one of the worst teams in the league this season. But I really do feel like it's more of a random number generator type situation. And we know that the Sawteeth bullpen is completely exhausted. So, if they can get past the starter, the Crocodons can just feast on their exhausted bullpen. The uh, .365 winning percentage is pretty bad. Not worse in the league, though, because we've got the free, the free booters over here at 323 and the Wild Pigs at 355. Oh, that, that's right. It's also 355. I misread that. Um, so, the same record as the Wild Pigs. They're tied for second worst record. In Not super optimistic. But 
I do feel like they don't take into account uh, the head-to-head. -head. If it's head-to-head, -head, we lose if they beat the Crocodons. But if it's run differential, I don't think they're winning by nine runs. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm Brad Pritchard. And if you made this whole video, you're a goddamn hero. So thank you very much. I'll see you again soon. Bye.